the bed frame is already unwrapped because I needed the cardboard to get the old bed frame out of here. Val came up with this brilliant idea to use it as like a sled so it doesn't murder fuck our floors. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now this is unwrapped, so we're gonna click to a time lapse real quick and you can watch us build our new bed. <laughs> After a brief hiatus to do a birthday dinner for me, <laughs> we are back. It was your birthday today? <laughs> um, and now we are putting the sheets on the bed. It's still doing its thing. As you can tell, it's like much thicker. It's still doing a growth. Yeah, it's much thicker in the middle than it is on the ends, which is pretty normal, but it's still fine to sleep on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get the bedding all set up and See how it looks. It's done. Yeah, it is. And I hung a plant. Yes. My side looks nice and clean. Cody's side is cluttered with stuff because he doesn't have an end table and he has a well, lot of stuff over there. And I mean, we got the box of the baby stuff over there, yeah. your book that I put on my shelf just for now. Cody's squished in there. Yeah. But there's the bed. It doesn't look that big because we put in all the pillow stuff right in the middle, but you know, you get the idea. Mm -hmm. You happy with it? Yes. I hope it's comfortable. Me too. Okay, this is what we spent today at No Frills. It's September 2nd and we had to do a big grocery haul because we were running out of stuff. And so this is what $120 looks like. So I don't remember all the prices off by heart. I know that these were really expensive, but we really want vanilla Coke and you can't buy it anywhere. Yeah, it's hard to come by, so it's a nice treat when we get it. I think those were about two bucks a bottle. This obscene amount of chips here, the No Name brand, are right. a dollar a piece. Yeah. We have a very fussy baby right now because yeah. I'm this? not sure why. Give me this. But she's fussy. So we got some meat that should last us for, no. Cody thinks a week and a half. I think it'll last us for two weeks. Pork chops were nine seventy three, and these guys were 12 and a half, $12 and a bit. We needed more cheese. We got ourselves a pie. There's Guys, some that pie beans. Is so good. If you, get, if you get the chance to buy farmer's market pies, on point. Um, we had to get more pasta, pasta sauces. We got a huge thing of chicken nuggets for $10. <laughs> We've got fruit cups. Maybe that's what Freya wants. Freya, do you want a fruit cup? Would a fruit cup make you happy? Do you want a fruit cup? <laughs> uh, we had to You're get going. more margarine. Lots of snack bars, cup of noodles, stove top, Cody's lactose free creamer, mm -hmm. some olive oil. This is because I got a weak bloodline. This is because I had a craving. <laughs> <laughs> and some cereal. So it's not like, I don't know, it's more like a pantry stock up this week. <laughs> Do we sit? <laughs> but you know, it's, it's fine for now. No, no. In the chair? Freya's being very demanding today. Can you say hi, vlog? Say hi. hi. She, she woke up in a mood. Yeah. Do yeah. you want a fruit cup? you want a fruit cup? We gotta eat this here for right now. Then we'll put them all in the room. We're gonna feed our angry baby. But yeah, yeah, fruit cup. But we wanted to show you guys what $120 at No Frills got us. I thought I could do my pregnancy update now since we're <laughs> in the car. As you can see, Freya back there has taken her shoes off as per usual. Um, I'll insert like a either a photo or a video clip of what my belly bump looks like uh, while I'm talking about this. But I'm 35 weeks now, so less, well, about three weeks to go, I suppose. 
Um, I still have to pack my hospital bag. That's on my to-do to list for today. I'm feeling better. I've been able to stop taking my nausea meds, which has been great um, because that's what makes me really tired for the most part. I mean, I still get the pregnancy fatigue, but it's not as bad as what the medication was doing to me, so that's good. I still have to take my heartburn medication. If I don't take that, then I get nauseous because the heartburn and indigestion is so bad. Freya's got a ball back there. She's very excited about it. Cody's been a huge help. He's just been hanging out around at home, being the best dad there is helping me. <laughs> um, other than that, there's not much to do with the pregnancy. I've had a little bit of cramping, um, a little bit of pain, some back pain, you know, the usual stuff. Sleeping is hard, running to the bathroom all the time because this kid's on the bladder. Otherwise, I'm doing good, doing okay. The belly is looking big, looks like maybe it dropped down a bit. Other than that, I don't know, this week's vlog is kind of all over the place. I'm trying to like stitch it together as I edit it so that it makes more sense for you guys. Right now we're headed to Old Navy to see if we can find some more pajamas and, and some clothes for Freya. Fall has arrived and most of the warmer clothes that we have for her are either from last year, which no longer fit, or they were, um, they're the clothes that were gifted to her for Christmas, but they don't, they're still really big. They're probably not gonna fit her till next fall. So we gotta go pick her up some warmer clothes to wear for this fall. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's about it. So I'll try to be better at remembering to actually vlog a bit when we get into Old Navy. Um, and then I'll for sure uh, show you guys what I'm packing in my hospital bag because I think I'll probably pack quite a bit differently this time compared to how I packed last time. All right, we're back at home now and I'm gonna start packing the hospital bag. No! I don't know what size bag I need to use yet so I think I'm just gonna start like grabbing stuff and throwing it on the bed and I'll see how much I have to pack and then we'll see if I need what size of bag I'm gonna need. what I wore to the hospital when I had Freya and I liked it because 
it's got buttons so it's easy to undo and open for breastfeeding. So I'll probably bring this again. I'm not going to bother bringing diapers because the hospital provides all of the diapers. Got to bring my peri bottle to, you know, clean down there because you can't wipe after having a baby. That would be a bad idea. This is the Freedom Mom Perry bottle. At some point, we should go to the dollar store and get travel size containers so that I can pack uh, shampoo and conditioner okay. in the hospital bag. I know we've got our own, but I just, I kind of want to try and put as much stuff in there as I can so that I'm not rushing around trying to pack last minute. Mm -hmm. These are my nursing shirts that I've had since I've had Freya. They just clip off and then that way you can get to breastfeeding. Hey! I need these. These are for baby brother and mama. When mama goes to the hospital. All right, I didn't really need anything for Freya in terms of clothes because we just kept her in a swaddle the whole time, but I'm bringing one long sleeve newborn onesie, two, I guess. This one's kind of stained. And the coming home outfit, which is the one that Freya wore when she came home from the hospital. Because we thought we were having a boy. boy. We got a warm blanket to put over baby's car seat when we bring him home so he's not too cold. One, one swaddle. Two burp cloths. These are amazing. I love these. <laughs> we used these so much with Freya when she was little. Um, and two flannel blankets. Um, I didn't have these with me last time when I went to the hospital. We did have this or one like it. We had some kind of one like it. It was this one. Um, I didn't have any of these. The, the hospital provides us with a swaddle. Um, but honestly, I kind of wish I had had burp cloths while we were there. Um, these wound up being used all the time at home, so I'm going to bring them with me. And then baby's little rattle. Not that he needs it or is likely going to use it, but it's cute and I want it for the sake of the pictures. I'm also bringing oh, the Earth Mama Herbal Perineal Spray, cooling perineal mist for pregnancy and postpartum. This is for the down there care as well. I think that's all I can really pack for right now. It didn't even occur to me until this moment that I need to like go to a dollar store and get like a second cheap little toothbrush to pack in the bag and some travel toothpaste and travel shampoo and travel conditioner and travel body wash. All right, it's in rough shape, but it's empty. Well, thank you. So Cody at some point will have to pack his stuff, which will really probably just be a change of clothes and then maybe like a pillow from home so that he's more comfortable. Because the pillows and bedding they provide at the hospital for the dads are not comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, they start the dads off early just being like, you don't matter. <laughs> I think we still have, yeah, we have an extra pillow. Yeah, we, we got pillows and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if we have an extra pillowcase right now, but do you want me to throw this in there? Yeah, you can. Yeah. We got my stuff going over here. You'll be able to squeeze your stuff in here, right? Oh, yeah. Cool. I'm pretty much just going to be bringing pajama pants and my slippers. Cool. Oh, yeah, I should bring the slippers or something, too. Yeah, you should. Are mine, in the, are mine down there? Oh, they're right here. Yeah, I'll bring them. And slippers, because ain't nobody want to walk on a hospital floor. Hospitals are gross at the best of times. Yeah. You don't want to go barefoot in too vigorously. It's a very big diaper bag. Hospital bag. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. A very big hospital bag. I do like that we have basically everything in one bag though, because I feel like last time we had multiple bags. Yeah, we had like three bags. It was and it was, a, it was challenging to haul everything. At least this, I can bring mama and baby all in one go. Yeah. So that's it for this part. All right, and that is the end of this week's vlog. Again, it was kind of choppy and all over the place, but <clears throat> 
we're working on it. Honestly, we don't lead super exciting lives. Uh, we're pretty chill and pretty quiet people for the most part. But that was the big thing this week was getting that hospital bag packed. Um, I feel better now that that's out of the way. I, watching these clips back, I look very tired. I don't feel as tired as I normally do, but I look pretty tired. Um, so I'm definitely ready to be done being pregnant, but I still have a few more weeks to go. Baby's got to stay in there just a little bit longer. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I know some of you really enjoy these vlogs and we've really enjoyed doing them. It's not our usual content, but it's still fun uh, to share a little bit of our personal lives with you guys and let you see a bit behind the scenes. So like I said, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.